This is video one of the final uh, concept. It's kind of the 2D to 3D uh, concept art. So we're going to basically take a piece of 2D illustration and we're going to generate the 3D version of it. So my piece is this right here uh, by Drew Hartel, a friend of mine, um, worked on Spider-Verse. And this is one of his personal uh, characters and projects that he's developing all the time. And uh, so this is his little rabbit named Little. So I'm gonna go ahead and build this scene in 3D and render it and make it look as good as we can and put a little animation in there as well. Uh, it doesn't have to be too much. I just want all the scenes to just have some kind of animation and even a little camera move. Uh, it could be fun as well. All right, uh, so the first thing we need to do is set up our project so that our project, uh, our Maya file, and all the other files that are gonna use to generate the image um, are located in a single location. So for me, I have um, a folder here called Little. So Little is going to be my name of this whole project. It's like the Little project, right? And inside of here, I have some different folders. Um, I'm going to create another one here just for um, uh, illustration purposes. Um, I'm going to create one for Photoshop. I'm going to do another one for, say, like ZBrush. And the reason why I separate those is uh, personally and also at studios, uh, we often divide or, or organize our folders via software. So here's my Maya software, here's my Photoshop, ZBrush. I have a couple of things like this demo. This is where I'm storing, uh, I should actually really call this Camtasia because that's the software I use to record these videos. So we'll go ahead and drop that in there. And then for reference, uh, this is just some general images for reference. It kind of is for the entire project. So it doesn't need to be software specific. Uh, <clears throat> so this Maya folder right here is where I'm going to uh, set the Maya project to so that all files get stored there. So when you open a Maya scene, uh, by default it's not really set to any location, maybe the last place you had your project set to. If I say file and I say set project, that will open up a window and ask you where do you want to set this project to. So you know you navigate say to the place where you have uh, the Maya file. So I've created this Maya folder. And I'm going to open up the Maya, select the Maya file folder right there. And so when it's selected, you'll see that the directory gets loaded down here and I'll just say set. So there it's set. Uh, sometimes it will ask uh, to create a default workspace if a default workspace hasn't been generated and just say okay and that is fine. Uh, the next thing I need to do is go ahead and create my project directory, all the, the file folders that Maya is going to want. So we'll go to project window, which is right underneath above the set project. And that will open up a window that kind of says, well, here's your current project. Current project is set to this Maya folder. And inside, we're going to populate. Maya will automatically populate all of these different uh, folder locations. And it has some uh, secondary ones, so inside of, say, scenes, it will have edits um, for offline edits. That's something I don't typically use. Uh, so I'll just say use default, so you can go here and edit these and say, yeah, I don't really want um, this one. So we'll just kind of delete that one. Uh, but I'll leave all these other ones. <clears throat> that will be fine. Uh, and custom translator locations, all this data. Most of this stuff you don't necessarily need to know right now what's being saved there, but it gives, um, there are certain things that Maya will save out automatically and having these directories there uh, is a good thing. So we'll say accept and when we say accept, if we go check out our file location, we'll say to Maya, so all of these folders have now been generated um, automatically for us. So the ones we want to be most aware of is, uh, one is our scenes folder. This is where we'll actually save scenes that uh, are uh, kind of the, the actual Maya file where we're going to be doing our rendering from. Uh, and that's going to differ from, say, our assets 
in our assets folder, we'll have elements that go into our scene. So right now in my assets folder, you'll see I'll have a little model. That's the model of the little rabbit character. And that eventually is going to be referenced into the Maya scene. And on my, my Maya scene, I don't have anything yet. So I'll go ahead and save this scene. And because we've set the project, Maya will automatically go to that directory and say Maya scenes. And I'll just call it little underscore lay, layout or we'll call it version one. So the layouts uh, I'm using it as, hey, this is the scene that is everything is coming together in. It's the composite of all the different stuff. So that's often an animation called the layout uh, scene file. So everything comes together here. And we'll just say save. Go check out our Maya and we'll see, okay, that has now been saved in that directory. So we have our assets, which are gonna be elements. Uh, scenes is where it all comes together, so we'll call our layout scene. Uh, another one here is this images folder. When we render things, these images that get rendered will go into there. We also have uh, a source images. And inside the source images, they'll have this folder for 3D paint textures. Uh, any texture files that we generate uh, for like a butt map or a color map, a spec map, they're going to go inside of this folder. So. Uh, the one thing I do like to create is a folder called uh, PSD, or yeah, PSD. Uh, I like to have the texture files where I'm generating the textures. I'll keep in here. Um, so if I have you know all my spec and TIFF maps and all that kind of stuff, I'll keep in this PSD folder. But the flat uh, TIFF images, for like one, it's like one image for your spec, one for your color. I'll put those into the source images. And then we have sound, you know, if you're having animating to some audio uh, and some other things. But we've gone over the basic ones that we need to know about, which is source images, scenes, images, and uh, assets. Another thing about images is when you save out like a UV snapshot, by default, Maya will save them here in the images directory. So that's a good thing to know as well. If this seems a little complicated or maybe, uh, gee, do I really need to remember all this right now? It will make more and more sense as we go along in this project and you'll get more familiar with these different directories and what they're used for um, and which ones we're going to commonly access or go into. Uh, so just for now, just kind of get a general lay of the land. These are the folders. They're all inside this Maya project. And now when you want to transfer, say you want to back up to your cloud or you want to transfer for, from one computer to the lab, you just need to copy this whole Maya um, onto a thumb drive or onto the cloud and you'll know you have everything. Um, so it's a nice way to organize all your files and take them with you. Okay, so that's part one. On the next uh, video, we'll start to actually lay out the scene with the image plane. So we'll see you on the other side.